geen band op. Hij gaat dus naar beneden, er zat nog geen band op. Eight, uh, Cadillac. Cadillac's doing a ride and drive here. Um, the, the manufacturers are looking for these unique venues uh, to, to showcase their brand, to show new product. And uh, obviously on the racetrack, when you've got uh, 11 of them in GT doing battle, you've got five of them in GTP doing battle. Um, you know, what- Back limits here for car 84 at turn three. Three car coming down pit lane, this is in the window. Oh, oh he's deep. Too deep. Wow. He nearly missed pit in. Not seen that one before. <laughs> wow. That's that's unusual. Just a bit quick, wasn't he? Yeah. Matchell just got in. Colin Brown, the Dale Coyne racing car, and that looks like quite a bit of excess fuel. Edge of your seat action continues in pit lane and we just said as we start sign from the the front mechanic there from I think that was Tom Blumquist I wonder if there was maybe some sort of unsafe release situation somebody stalled so you see Blumquist there oh Canapita lost it on the power oh, oh. And luckily, and Blomquist drivers, and also the GT4 RS drivers. So two divisions once again, and a repeat of last time. É mesmo perdendo dois segundos a mais para trocar os externos. Como agora a tendência, principalmente eles vão ter que estar livre. É o pior. Opa! Agora já complicou e passou. É alguma coisa ali do pórtico de saída de boxe que enroscou no carro do Thiago. with another Aston and it's in the wall. Caught up, Gio Ruggiero was the General Tire Pole Award winner earlier tonight. Let's take a look, actually, let's take a look at that scene post-qualifying as we see Tanner Reif into the tire barrier down at the inside of the pit wall. That's gonna put us under the caution flag for the second time here tonight. Tanner was experience, experiencing some difficulties with overheating, tried to get that car on to pit road couldn't quite make it and it impacted the be renus vk like accelerating yeah exactly right managed to get on the brakes avoid getting into pit wall and thank goodness there was no back out he's got a real issue so he's losing loads and loads of places right in comes the ferrari of jack aitkin yesterday's race winner third in the championship he's coming a bit yeah. early he's missed his box there he said, he has. said in the interview yesterday i got it wrong on the entrance and he sort of stopped and then met forward again so enormi e di ferrati guardiamo cosa è successo è successo che in easy race thomas biaggi è partito eh, prima Delle do oh, he is off on the wet Firestones back onto the primaries. Oh He's no! Up pit lane. Oh no! Joseph Newgarden ran over the uh, the uh, the gun, the wheel gun section. Almost no grip at all. So we're seeing now the two getting serviced, and they just didn't get the gun back fast enough. Look at how quick the oh, reaction wow. was. Oh, my goodness! So close for the high V members there. I think the the gun pulled his car hard it right. It did. It did. And oh. almost, almost hit that Rahul Letterman Lanigan team member. That was really close. And that's Lungard hitting his tyre and the gun and hose on the front right changer. Wow. 92 month by racing Porsche. It's heading into the pits, over one kerb, over the next. Does it have a slight spin? No. Oh. It does. Very wet kerbs on slicks. It's the pit lane, and there's the soft tyre, the quicker tyre. There it is, purple sidewall, the high-tech Pulse driver. Never been on a Formula 2 podium before. Oh, Will this be a day? Oh, a bit slow on there. Oh, oh, no, it's, it's come off. off. Oh, no, the tyre's come off. The right rear's come off. Let's see how he's going. Let's see how he's going. Oh, there is he is again. In the Aston Martin from... Mike David Ortmann reingefahren. Also da sehen wir schon, wie der Flap vorne fliegt. Also das ist, das Training ist noch keine, keine Minute alt. Und 
helmet or face oh, okay. car. I might be wrong. It's captioned as such, but let's have a look. Comes in. Yeah, he's just lost it by himself. Yeah. At uh, 1.6 seconds is the gap between first and second as a result of that right. The fuel's going in. So another team opting to take the long stop now. Finn Bieberhaus hanging out. Oh, we've got a fire in the pits. We've got a problem. So the uh, ADAC have uh, very much asked that uh, extinguishers are on standby. So that will be attended to very, very quickly. But our second place car, a bit of too much apex. Watch this. He's going to get too far to the left here. A little bit of oversteer, locks the fronts, anti stall, and then gets collected a little bit in the back by Scott McLaughlin trying to get around him. Look at that. So that's wing contact. That could have implications. I think it was just when the fuel probe. Oh no, he moved. He moved Aye. early. I take that back. So that was fuel that was. Uh, pulled out of the Bowser. Uh, I thought it was just a, a brake fire because they were all over that very quickly. Um, and it was the back of the car. It tends to be the fuel vapor that catches first. These cars exceeding.